look beautiful. Look around and see each other. I have a feeling you might be loud. I just want to tell you quickly, we are joining literally millions of women around the world right now in this march. over yeah. 500,000 yeah. women. Yeah. I just want to remind you quickly, why do we do this? We're doing this because we are telling our elected officials they must protect women's rights. Because I feel that women's rights are not just women's rights, it's human's rights. And we've been fighting for this. I was just telling my friend, we've been fighting since the 60s for our rights. It's sad that we have to fight again. This president just does not understand. What does your sign say? Protect the environment. Because I believe that lo love, not hate, makes America great. I'm here today because I'm a veteran, I support the Constitution of the United States, and I feel that yeah. President <laughs> Trump rejects everything that's in the Constitution about our individual rights, and that's, that's about it, and particularly rights of women and minorities and immigrants. We all need to know that we are the majority. Um, we have power and we can make change. If we're all together, we need to resist together and fight, become active. I'm here largely for my granddaughters, two and six years old, who are doing this march in Seattle. And I want their future to be brighter than it's looking right now. Because we hate Donald Trump. We hate yeah, Donald get our Trump. rights back. Yeah. We hate yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. yeah. He's not making America great. No. He's not, he's not doing the opposite. Great. Yeah. yeah. I'm here for my grandmother, who was born in 1875. She was 45 years old before she could cast her first ballot. I'm here for my mother, who served in World War II. She served with the Women's Auxiliary and never had any benefits from it. She served simply for patriotism for her country. They're both dead, but I'm still here. To support people of different colors and races. I'm here for women because I'm sick and tired of the way he treats women. No respect. Why are you marching? I'm not marching, I'm standing. <laughs> Who's carrying Trump around now? Well, I've never marched before, so this is my first. And I'm just so put off with what's happened that it's time for me to get off my bottom and march. We're here to stand up for the rights of women, for Black Lives Matter, that science is real, for all of the things that I've stood for throughout my life. Yeah. It seems obvious, we shouldn't have to hold up a sign that says women's rights are human rights, but on a day like today, unfortunately we have to say that because it's no longer a given in our nation. And uh, I walk today in honor of my granddaughter Sophie, Sophie Strong on his t-shirt. She's a seven-year-old fighting cancer, and uh, if the Affordable Air Care Act gets repealed or parts of it change, our family is looking at bankruptcy because of the costs of her health care. So lots of different reasons to walk and march and lift up our voices today. <laughs>
have to be able to uh, show the rest of the country that we can stand up and that we can be heard and we can be positive and we can move forward, not backward. At this point, I would like to introduce the former mayor of Watsonville. She's a fascinating woman, Karina Cervantes Alejo. Persistent inequalities continue to exist here in the United States. We see it often when we're discussing the gender pay gap. Women earn, earning only an average of 78 cents per dollar that every man earns. <laughs> Greater disparities for Latina and black women who are on average are making anywhere from 55 cents to 60 cents for every dollar that a man earns. I was watching Nina Turner, former Ohio State Senator, speaking out yesterday and she said, I want my whole damn dollar. <laughs> challenges will continue to emerge. We saw during this past election, we saw the normalization, too many people staying quiet, not saying anything about the outright misogyny, the outright racism, and we know that language is powerful, and we know that it works its way into the very policies and practices of our institutions that govern our lives. And I'm marching today because I believe that migration is a human right, and no human being is illegal. I am the daughter of Anne Marie Sayers, the tribal elder and caretaker of Indian Canyon. We are still here. I wanted to open this space up in a good way. I want to thank you all for acknowledging indigenous protocol by acknowledging the original peoples of these spaces that we hold space on to not erase truth in history when it comes to the indigenous peoples of the land that we are present on. I ask the ancestors that what I may say and how I may go forward, I do this in a good way to honor my ancestors. And I'm so honored and happy to be here, welcomed here by you and all of our community. And I just want to share that all of the work that I do is for the future, is to honor the past, to shape the future. I do a lot of decolonization conversations, I do a lot of solidarity work, and I support as many, so many groups, and I'm so honored that we connect. I would love to offer, <laughs> I would love to offer this honoring song, it's a grandmother song, to honor our grandmothers, their grandmothers, and in all Mother Earth, for without them and without her, we would not be here. We share this time and space. We share this time and space together for a reason. So with that humility, that gratitude, and that appreciation, I offer this grandmother song to all of us together. <clears throat> participated in ceremony with a California native, so if anyone ever tells you that we are not here, you have just witnessed it, and you are here to
marching today for human rights. I'm sick and tired of being treated like a second class citizen. And um, I mean, feminism is equality for all the sexes and between the sexes, and it's important. sitting with me? 
Can you have the courage to ask your elected officials to represent and look like the community that they are responsible to represent? And can you fight for equity? Do you know that in Davenport, there are 11 ranchos with over 250 farm worker families who are impacted by poverty every day and they pick your Brussels sprouts. Knowing it is one step. Agradeciendo, being grateful is a second step. And third step is to be in action in solidarity and support who they are in their community. I ask you to shop in Watsonville, to eat in Watsonville, to visit the farmer's market in Watsonville, to get involved in Watsonville. We need you! Muchísimas gracias. God bless you. We must do this together. Gracias. I'm here to protect our freedom of speech. I'm here to protect our free press. That's why I'm here. No fake news. This is the real deal.
Americans for Disabilities Act was happened because people with disabilities and their allies organized. I am married to a guy because we organized for years and we made those guys possible. And we celebrate the 44th anniversary today of the woman's right to choose because women and their allies organized. We had Martin Luther King Day because Martin Luther King and many allies organized for civil rights and made them happen in this country. And we are not stepping a step back on the fight against climate change. We have to make sure now you all pick one thing to do for sure. You're an escort for Planned Parenthood. You work on immigrants' rights. You protect marriage equality. You demonstrate against the tipping point in climate change. You make sure that you dedicate yourself to doing one thing at least, moving forward and turning today into that kind of action. It says, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute my role as an American and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So, those of you that wish to raise your right hand, feel free to do so. And repeat after me. I do solemnly swear I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute my role as an American my role as an American and will, to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. You are officially sworn. Now go exercise your constitutional rights every minute for the next four years. You know we've got community radio back in Santa Cruz. That's the news from Rachel Goodman, 90.7 FM. For more information, centralcoastcommunityradio.org. Support it.
safe life, safe health care. We're here for everyone. The Diversity Center of Santa Cruz County is a safe haven for our community. The LGBTQAI community is always, always welcome there. The Diversity Center serves a wide swath of our community from our 60 plus elders program to our youth program. Um, we go to outreach in the, into the communities to teach people about um, what being gay is through our, through our Triangle Speaker program. Um, and we also uh, have a program that works with our, our Latino community in Conexiones.